Hello everyone. Today we shall look into count and count a functions. The count function it supports numbers, dates, and strings. If there are no rows in the column to count, it will return as blank. If the column consists of blank values, the rows will be skipped. Okay. If the column consists of blank values, the rows will be skipped. If there are true false values, they are not supported. Okay. True false values, boolean values, they are supported only by using count a function. And we understand that this function is not supported in direct query mode when it is used in calculated columns or row level security rules. Okay, but the best practice which we have, which is recommended by Power BI, is whenever we try to use count, use count rows function instead of count. Okay, we have these seen these conditions. Let us check whether it, uh, you know, works well with the numbers, dates, or strings. I have created a measure table. Okay, I'll create a new measure. In the sales data set which I have provided in the description, I have few columns. Okay, where I have date, country, uh, distributor, brand, operator, and other numerical columns. Okay, I'll write count. Okay, date. I would like to check whether I'm able to count the date column or not. Okay, here I'll use sales state, count of sales state. In the count function, we would be able to use only one parameter, which is column name. Okay, now I have uh, created the measure count sales date. I'll go to home, take the text card. Okay, I'll insert this count date. Here you could see that there are 2,998 rows. Okay, that is what it is giving us the result by using count date. I'll copy this text box. I'll keep it in under. I'll create another measure to check whether it is working with uh, numbers or not. Okay. I am creating another measure. The measure name, let us suppose it is count sale price. Okay. Or we could say count unit price equal to count unit price from sales table. Okay. Sales bracket in brackets unit price once I click over here and use count price instead of count date here you could see that my count unit price it will give the same result as there are 2998 rows let us check whether it is working for the strings okay I have a country column where different countries are mentioned I'll write count country equal to count I'll type country sales country okay let us see if it is working or not and I'll copy this text box here I'll use count country here you could see that the number is 2998 again the total number of rows in the table now let us uh, see a small table which is boolean table okay this is a boolean table with seven rows and let us see if the count function works or works on it or not this is my sales table which i have used used for now okay i'll i'll check this boolean values whether it is working or not using the count function i'll quickly click on measure table create a measure okay let us see whether it is counting boolean or not i'll type count boolean equal to count in brackets here i have this boolean check column okay i'll close the parenthesis click ok okay i'll copy this text text box okay here instead of count country i'll select count boolean here you could see the error okay the reason is i'll click on this c details you could see that the function count cannot work with the values of type boolean. In such cases, if there are any boolean true false column, okay, then what you have to do is you have to use count a function. Let us move on to the count a function. This function does if it does not find any rows to count, it will return blank. In addition to the count a count like in addition to the count count a function always support boolean data type. That is the major difference between count and count a. Rest of the all, all data types will work same as the count. 
and also it is not supported in direct query mode okay let us see if uh, this count a function support boolean or not i'll create another measure okay the measure name let us take it as count a boolean okay i'll type count a bracket open here i have the same column boolean check i'll close the parenthesis and click over here i'll take a text card and then choose this count a boolean here you could see that count a is able to calculate my number of uh, rows present in the true false column or you could say boolean column okay this is working in count a remember this uh, it would be very helpful when you deal with the data sets this is how count a and count function works this is all for now thank you for watching and we shall meet in the next video